Hello friends, how are you? Today we will discuss about the difference between a pump high suction specific speed versus low suction specific speed. So we will try to understand what's the difference and what is basically this suction specific speed. So let's start this video. So what is suction specific speed? It has abbreviation of NSS basically. So suction specific speed is an index that relates flow and PSHR and rotative speed for pumps of similar geometry. So it's basically a relationship between the three parameters for the pump flow and PSHR and the speed for the pump. The difference between suction specific speed and specific speed is the head used for the calculation. So <coughs> we know that there are there is specific speed for pump and this is suction specific speed of pump. So both have similarity but at the same time there is difference that in specific speed we use the head okay for the calculation of uh, specific speed whereas in suction specific speed we use the NPSHR for the calculation of this number so if we know the suction specific speed then we can calculate the NPSHR for given flow rate and pump speed and similarly if we know the suction specific speed it is normally used to determine the recirculation of impeller so as we discuss its combination of three parameters so basically NSS is equal to N which is the speed of pump square root multiplied by the square root of flow divided by the NPSHR raised power by 2 by 3 so we can see here that suction specific speed has direct relationship between the flow and speed of pump however it has inverse relationship between the <coughs> NPSHR so in this way we can conclude our discussion so in industry there is a certain parameter uh, this number is given as uh, recommended that if we have 12,000 NSS that the pump should specific speed should not exceed above this figure so why it's uh, set in the industry standard so this can be explained through this chart which is basically the relationship between this NSS versus the percent best efficiency point. Okay, so here we can see here three pumps for having single section, double section and multi-stage. Okay, so as far as the number is increasing, we can see here the operating margin. Okay operating margin between the uh, uh, for the operation is basically reducing so in this way if the number figure which is set as 12,000 okay we have the pump having less number of this then what happens the benefit of having NSS less than 12,000 that there will be a disadvantage that NPSHR shall be high as we talked about it there is an inverse relationship and the second 
which is advantage that low suction there will be low suction recirculation for the low NSS number and third what uh, this figure explains that the operating range for the pump will be high okay if the NSS is greater than this figure 12,000 then what will happen that there will be advantage that the pump will have low NPSH requirement but on the other hand there will be chance of high suction recirculation and third the operating range of the pump will be lower okay so for the for example for the suction pump you can see that if we have this number a pump is having 40,000 so at this point okay the operating allowable range shall be between the 100 percent it shall be as a 90 percent of the best efficiency point so you have only this narrow window okay where you can operate your pump with best efficiency so in this way we have come to know the difference between the low suction specific speed pump and high suction specific speed pump i hope this will be understandable to you now so we will meet to you in next video okay Take care. Bye-bye.